Đà Nẵng to build development strategies at regional level. Đà Nẵng construction of Thiên Sa Port Phase 2 put into exploitation in November. Vietnamese teacher honored to receive Princess Maha Chakri Award. Hello, DRT News. It's happy to have you watching today. At the Invest Da Nẵng Forum 2017 taking place on October the 15th morning, Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc suggested Da Nẵng adopt a regional-level strategic vision in line with the current integration trend and the Industrial Revolution 4.0. As of the end of September 2017, Da Nẵng has attracted 408 projects with a total investment capital of 101 trillion dollars from local investors and 520 projects equivalent to more than 3 billion USD investment capital from foreign cars. Acknowledging that the development trend in the new area requires regional cooperation, at the forum, Da Nang introduced to potential investors nine projects that the city is calling for investment in the coming time, of which three key strategic projects aiming at building connection between Da Nang and neighboring localities to jointly develop the East-West economic corridor received much attention by the city. At this year's investment forum, Da Nang celebrated its achievement in attracting 27 projects with a total investment capital of $35.29 trillion. These impressive numbers highlighted investors' interest in Da Nang. In order to ensure the intimate safety for delegations, especially national high-level party and state leaders, as well as leaders of member states during the APEC Economic Leaders Week, the Department of Traffic Police under the Ministry of Public Security has mobilized more than 800 officers and policemen, hundreds of vehicles, tools and equipment supporting all means of transport, including road, railway and inland waterway. In the launching ceremony for ensuring traffic safety and delegation leading during APEC Economic Leaders Week, which has just taken place in Da Nang, the organizing board requested the support and approval of all people to facilitate the traffic police force to accomplish their missions and contribute to fulfilling the image of friendly, hospitable and peace-loving Vietnamese people. According to the Da Nang People's Committee, in the next step of the roadmap for building a smart city, Da Nang will continue to improve the e-government information system and build smart city applications. In particular, the city government will issue and implement the Master Smart Architecture Framework for Smart City and Specialized Architecture in various fields, under the motto multi-partner, one platform, one infrastructure, one policy, multi-application. Da Nang City can cooperate with many partners at home and abroad, but build smart city based on a single platform, synchronous infrastructure, and a unified policy, whereby forming a variety of smart applications and services. The Da Nang Port Choice Stop Company said that it is expected that by the end of November, the construction of Tien Sa Port Phase 2 will be completed and put into operation four months earlier than the set schedule. Accordingly, the Tien Sa Port Phase 2 is capable of receiving container ships with capacity of 50,000 DWT and synthetic ships with capacity of up to 70,000 DWT. Once operation, Tien Sha Port Phase 2 will help Da Nang Port to receive ships with tonnage larger than that at present, attracting more customers by its service quality. Over the past time, Da Nang Port has paid focus on promoting the port's exploitation services, logistic services and continuously seeking new sources of goods. Da Nang Port expects that the total output of goods transported through the port in 2017 will reach about 8 to 8.5 million tons, up by from 5 to 10 percent, compared to the year's plan. 
In the third quarter of 2017, the city's task forces have conducted inspections of 3,284 cases, thereby detecting and handling more than 2,780 violation cases, including 86 ones of transporting and trading smuggled and prohibited goods, nearly 2,700 cases of trade and tax fraud. 12 cases of trading fake products, collecting nearly $31 billion to the city budget. Specifically, the Da Nang Customs Department has enhanced the work of collecting, processing and sharing information for professional units as well as strengthened the control over export activities of such products as poultry, wood and products and used medical equipment. The unit has promptly prevented acts of smuggling and illegally transporting explosives, drugs, free substances, weapons, support tunes, documents with bad contents, wine and precious plants and animals, coal, oil and gasoline. The city's custom department will also tighten the control over people, vehicles and goods entering or leaving sea border area and seaport, as well as suspected cases of goods trading in the locality. On October the 16th morning, the Da Nang Women's Union held a ceremony to celebrate the 87th anniversary of establishment of the Vietnam Women's Union and summarize the emulation program on visiting Da Nang's cultural and historical relics. The program on visiting Da Nang's cultural and historical relics was launched by the City Women's Union in 2016. Implementing this program, the women's unions at all levels held trips for more than 60,000 members to visit and offer incense at 2,100 cultural and historical relic sites in the city and neighboring provinces. After these visits, many units have had meaningful activities such as writing articles about their feelings or organizing contests on making photo reports or videos as media products for popularizing the spirit among the women and all the residents. In particular, many units have also mobilized their members to contribute to restoring the relics, protecting the environment and landscape at the relics, and planting trees at the relic areas. The Municipal People's Committee has approved the plan on surveying the tourism activities in 2017 with the aim of collecting information on the number of tourists spending and expenditure structure of tourists. Accordingly, the city's Department of Tourism will coordinate with the relevant units to make survey on the local tourism activities in a bid to determine the contribution of tourism industry to the gross regional domestic product and the employment creation of the city, as well as make a regional tourism satellite account for the next city. This survey will be conducted on tourist and domestic and international travel agencies as such local tourist areas at Mana Hills Resort, Sun Chia Peninsula, Cham Sculpture Museum, Marble Mountains, Mikhe Beach Area, Asia Park. Teacher Phan Thị Nữ, head of the International Relations and Cooperation Office of the Liquidon Gifted High School, Da Nang City, was honored to receive the Thai Princess Maha Chakri Award. The Princess Maha Chakri Award is administered by the Princess Maha Chakri Award Foundation in collaboration with the Teachers' Council of Thailand under the supervision of the Thailand Ministry of Education and is granted to the teachers and education managers from the schools of Southeast Asian countries. This international award aims to honor the teachers who were devoted to pupils and have made outstanding achievements and positive contributions to the education development and international integration in their localities. Candidates must be those who are directly teaching or managing in school. And that's it for today's news. Remember to check out dt.danang.pn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.